Hey everyone, we are at week six of this amazing challenge. I hope that you've been having a lot of fun with the 90 day challenge and you can go ahead and start at any time. So if you're catching this video and thinking, wow, I'm really interested in emotions, but I also want to see what the rest of this challenge is about, make sure you head over to vitalityedu.com forward slash 90 days and that'll give you the challenge. Uh, super fun. We've been having a lot of fun just doing different things and this week is a week that I think a lot of you have been like excited about, wondering about. Emotional health is a pretty interesting thing for many of us. Uh, part of this 30 day section of the 90 days, so it's broken up into three sections, so we're in section two, uh, is the purpose book. And purpose, uh, so it's wellness, purpose, and abundance. So the first 30 days you're covering the wellness book, second 30 days the purpose book, and the third 30 days the abundance book. And the purpose book really does um, touch on cleaning up our home and getting the toxins out of our homes. And surprisingly, many of our emotional health issues can be traced directly back to synthetics in your home. So endocrine disruptors, your endocrine system has a plays a big part in how your emotional health plays out. So there's a, a nice, easy website on vitalityedu.com forward slash emotions, and that's gonna give you some essential oil recipes. But do know that one of the biggest recipes would be to clean out the toxins in your home. So it's a really simple solution to many people. So if if you're not, uh, if you don't have oils yet, and I, I wish you would, um, but if you don't have Young Living, like a PSK from Young Living, premium starter kit, please make sure you get that because it's gonna really help with imprinting. We're gonna talk about imprinting today. And one of the things that is super helpful is eliminating the toxins from your home. So again, if you don't have oils, one of the biggest things to do to help your emotional well-being is to remove synthetics from your home. Okay, so that's an easy thing. Okay, so maybe not super easy, but you get what I mean. As far as imprinting, uh, we've been, imprinting for years, but Lisa Wilkerson, she's a resident vet here in the Human Body and Essential Oils, and she's part of Team Vitality, and she's an amazing human being. Uh, she's spoken for us before and taught us on cats and dogs and all the things that we need to know about essential oil use around them. And one thing she spoke on before is imprinting. Well, imprinting works exactly the same way on humans. So I want to show you how that works and why emotionally that can be beneficial to many of you. Uh, some of us, myself here, um, have a hard time with allowing our emotions kind of get the best of us. <laughs> and what I mean by that is um, I'm typically not super emotional, but when I am emotional, forget about it. Like, look out, it's bad. <laughs> so, um, and what I mean by that is I'm either super crazy, happy, bouncing off the walls, and my husband's like, what's wrong with you? Or I'm in a slump crying, you know? So, I mean, my emotional my emotional range is, is almost extreme. Um, and some of you have a lot of emotions all day long. And those emotions can really rapidly change um, as you're moving through your day. I am more of a control freak, right? So if you find yourself being uh, somebody who likes to control things rather than roll with things, I will tell you, um, we tend to fight our emotions a little bit harsher. So somebody who's like all the feels, they love it all, they just kind of like to roll through emotions, uh, they don't fight it as much. And so using an essential oil recipe that's pre-established, like going to vitalityedu.com forward slash emotions, there's tons of recipes on there, tons of oils um, just listed within different categories. I want you to consider the fact that you probably can get away with using like joy when you're angry and it will help you feel joyful. For someone like me, I'm angry and I put joy on and I'm like, I'm still angry because I'm fighting it. And that's somebody who's more of a controlling personality. So it's interesting that personality can play a big role into how well emotional essential oils work. So I'm holding in my hand right now lavender. And lavender is a calming oil, but it's a really easy oil to imprint with. So I want you to consider an oil that you like the smell of. So it might be stress away. So stress away in the premium starter kit is really excellent to imprint with. Now what Lisa spoke about when it comes to animals is that animals stress out a lot. 
lot, right? So sometimes you are maybe gearing up for the 4th of July and it's gonna be a, a, a mess, right? And you know your dog's gonna go ballistic. Well, about a month beforehand, you wanna start imprinting with that animal. And what that means is when it's happy time, when everybody's, you know, hanging out and the, the dog is happy and wagging his tail and it has a treat and you guys are playing, diffuse stress away, right? Diffuse a specific aroma like peace and calming or stress away or valor or lavender or frankincense. These are all calming oils. However, for an animal, you can imprint a happy emotion into them through constantly putting that aroma into the air or on your pet even during a happy time. It takes about 30 days for imprinting to work, but here's here's the kicker. It's the same for us. So what I love about that is I can imprint, and I have imprinted with many oils over the years, just didn't realize it was called imprinting until, until Dr. Lisa brought this to my attention. So I have imprinted with Melissa. Melissa is like a really fantastic aroma, but it's something not in the premium starter kit. It would be like an extra oil that you would look into. And I've also imprinted with Stress Away. I've imprinted with um, Sandalwood, beautiful aromas that I just love their smell. And so what you want to do is pretty much when you're feeling good. So right now I'm feeling good. I'm not stressed. So oftentimes you go to an oil like Stress Away and you'll use this oil when you're stressed. Well, instead use it when you feel good. Like everything is right with the world right now. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to remember this moment. And when you imprint and you, you can put it like on your temples, you can drip it directly on your head. I do that sometimes, but you really want to smell it in. And what we do is I've activated the oil. So I put a drop in my hand. I've clockwise. So circle around three times clockwise and then just open. So rather than kind of mushing it up, just circle it. What that's doing is it's throwing all of those molecules into a clockwise rotation that's going to go ahead and um, follow the direction of your DNA. It's really fascinating stuff so that it gets into your system a little bit more effectively. Then just take your hands and cup them fully, like over your nose and get one of those really deep breaths in, right? One that's just, you kind of can't get any more oxygen in. And when you breathe out, breathe out as fully as you possibly can. Like, like just squeeze your lungs to get the air out and then Take another deep breath in, right? That's gonna force those beautiful aromatic molecules into your olfactory system, right up into, your, into that limbic system. It's gonna start doing its magic. It's going to start connecting this happy time with that oil. So I'm gonna keep doing that for, you guys will do it for the week, right? Keep doing it every day. I encourage you to keep doing it for at least 30 days with one oil. Try imprinting with one oil. So again, remember, it's got to be happy time or even a calm time. Like let's say every evening you kind of sit down in your favorite chair and you get a, you know, like your favorite snack and it's just cozy time and relaxed time and it's just the same kind of like emotional calm. Then you can imprint with that oil. So what happens is after about 30 days of doing that consistently every day, at least once a day, that oil is now imprinted into your mind and into your limbic system and into your body as a I love this oil phase. Like I literally can smell this and man, life is good. <laughs> okay, so what will happen is you'll get thrown a curveball at some point. Make sure you're not using this oil before you fully imprint it. Okay, so let's say in a month from now something happens and it's really upsetting put the oil on right or let's say you're going into a situation that you know is going to be hard um, you're visiting some people that you know maybe just uh, doesn't really work out with you or it stresses you out put that specific oil that you imprinted with on beforehand so that it's diffusing on your person rub it on your chest um, you know wear some diffuser necklaces I really often just put oil straight in my hair because it will diffuse for a good amount of time and it's really good for your hair, right? So that's what imprinting is because then what happens is your mind and your body align and say, I'm good, I can handle this. 
it's wild how well and how effective this works. So do know there's really two sides of this coin. One is certain oils just work for you every time and you never imprinted with them. And usually those are the people that are less controlling. Like my husband, I would consider him such an even keeled human being. He's never angry. Like I, I've heard him maybe yell five times in my entire life. <laughs> you know, like he's never upset. He's also never super excited. Like he's usually, everything's like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> you know? So he's that kind of go with the flow guy. And I can put joy on the back of his neck and all of a sudden he starts acting like a kind of weird cheerleader leader. He doesn't even know I put it like what I'm putting on him half the time. Um, I've put clarity on him and all of a sudden he's like, okay, I know what we're doing. And I'm like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. I've never even heard you say those words. You know, I've put release on him and he starts crying right away. Again, I can count on one hand the amount of times I've seen that man cry. And one was because I put release on the back of his neck after his mom died and he started bawling immediately. It was really interesting. And he actually was like, don't ever do that again. So just know some people, oils are instantaneously emotionally helpful. If you find yourself in the category of ah, oh, man, my friend tells me to use joy when I'm angry and I use it and it doesn't work. You're probably more of a controlling personality. Your cells are holding on to that anger and I want you to practice imprinting. So this is giving us some tools here to use. So when you read um, the next week's challenge, you're gonna learn about imprinting. You're gonna try to use some of the oils within the different categories on vitalityedu.com forward slash emotions. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And again, remember one of the easiest things you can do to help your emotions even out a little bit is remove the synthetic toxins in your home. So get the purpose book. It's at 31oils.com forward slash purpose. Make sure you get a copy of that so that you can read all of the reasons and the statistics about why petrochemicals and synthetics in your home are doing you absolutely no good. And if anything, they are massively harming not only you, your family members and your pets. So hopefully this has been a fun, interesting session. Again, go over to vitalityedu.com forward slash 90 days to pick up the rest of the challenges. And I can't wait to get with you guys for the next week. Good luck, you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.